Hello, and welcome to another week of Tips and Tricks with Lynn Allen. Today we're going to talk about a tool that even though it came out many releases ago, I believe it was in AutoCAD 2002, I find that as I travel around, very few people know about. This tool is especially helpful if you care about standards, and I bet most of you out there do. Let's say you get a join file from somebody, and you want to check and make sure that they followed your standards. And by standards, I'm referring to the right layers, the right line types, dimension styles, and text styles. You can set up this very, very cool tool inside of AutoCAD to do a lot of the work for you. The first thing you need to do is you need to create a standards file. A standards file is a file that already exists that currently has the correct layers, line types, text styles, and dimension styles. You probably already have that drawing. And then you need to turn it into a standards file. It's easy enough. Go to the top of the screen, go to File, go Save As, and you will see when you drop down that list of files of type, there's an option there for DWS. That's how easy it is to create your first standards file. Once you have the standards file, you need to assign the standards file to the drawing that you want to check. So let's try the new CAD standards tool. They're not really new, of course. Let's go Tools, CAD standards. It's been there all along. You probably didn't pay much attention to it. And go ahead and select Configure. So let's go grab that DWS file that we want to assign to this drawing so we can check this drawing. Just go ahead and hit that plus sign there. And there's a DWS file. That is the one I want to use. So I'm going to assign that. You can have multiple DWS files assigned to a particular drawing if you want to. And you can even control which one has priority. You will see in here that you also get to decide which of the standards you want it to check. Do you want it, maybe you don't care about the dimension styles, maybe you don't care about the text styles, that's up to you. In this case, I'm going to check for everything. There's also an option in here, if you select settings, that lets you set up how the CAD standards tools work. For example, you can have it set up so that whenever you're working in a drawing, if you break a standard, it's going to let you know. This is my favorite right here, automatically fix non-standard properties. You can set this up and let AutoCAD do the work for you. When you run the standards checker, it will go ahead and fix things like layer colors or, or particular settings inside of dimension styles. That's very, very powerful, and I love that option because I'm lazy, and I like AutoCAD to do as much work for me as possible. All right, we're set. Let's check our standards. I'm going to check this drawing. It will go through comparing it to the DWS file, and in this case, it knows that the DIM style MCAM24, that's a non-standard dimension style, and it allows me to replace it with one that is standard. So let's go ahead and fix that. Very, very simple. It even shows you the difference between the two styles. In this case, you'll see that it says that uh, it's a little confused. The properties are non-standard in here. It says that the, the line type for this particular layer called S-JOIS, the, the line types vary. You'll see the current value is hidden, but according to my standards, it should have been continuous. So if I want to correct that, I can go ahead and fix, uh, hit fix again. You may run into situations where maybe you don't want to fix it. Maybe you're okay with the difference. In that case, you can just say, mark this problem as ignored. That's pretty straightforward, right? So after you go through the whole thing, you can just keep going, next, next, and so on and so forth. Once you get through the whole thing, it'll run that nice check and you will, it'll let you know exactly how many problems it found, how many of them you fixed, how many it fixed for you automatically. That's if I had that little button toggled, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to show you some of the extra features in here. And then it will tell you how many that you ignored. So this is a very, very powerful feature. Take advantage of this, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's going to save you lots of time. So until next week, thank you for joining me.